living extraordinary life. And I guess the first point I want to touch into is the application because it's not a conventional dating app. How, yeah. do you, can you expand on that area? How, how, how is it different to other dating apps? Yeah, so Blink was created to kind of help folks get away from that swipe culture and uh, get to know people for who they are instead of just what they look like and what their profile says that they're about. Because, you know, we're, you know, living in the social media age and people are expected to package themselves into these neat little profiles with photos and quotes. And that's, that's not an accurate representation of who we are. You know, you can also make up whatever you want or present a version of yourself you think other people would like. And we're, we think that there's so much more to people and to dating. And so we put mm -hmm. audio dates first and we want folks to get to know each other for who they are, again, not what they look like, um, while still taking into account the fact that love isn't blind. So we do have a looks kind of component to make sure that folks are still uh, interested in each other physically, but we, we try to put that personality first and we're, we're trying to get folks away from that super superficial experience that they might be having on other apps. Yeah, right. Okay. So can you run me through an example? Let's say I want to, I want to sign up to this. It's, I want to sign up to Blink and how do I meet my soulmate? You know, how, how do I yeah. go, go ahead and, and do that? Do you want to run me through that experience? Yes. So you sign up for the app. Uh, the sign up process is a lot simpler than most other apps. All we ask is really your name, your birthday, the age range of folks you're interested in, your sexuality and your gender, um, and a few basic things like are you a smoker, drinker, do you do drugs, um, religion, some lifestyle based things that right. might make you compatible or not with others. Yeah. Uh, and once you do that, you're, you're signed up. Um, you upload one photo, just to be clear, only one. We're not, we're not doing a curated wow. selection. Uh, Damn, I can't, then... I can't show all my, all my, you know, I can't show all my dogs and all these little things, you know. Damn, you're gonna need to get them all into one photo. All right. Um, and then once you're, you once you've signed up, you put in your availability, and we will schedule you for that 10 minute audio only date uh based on your availability and the parameters your preferences and after the date sort of like when you get out of an uber or a lyft it prompts you to you know rate your driver you're going to evaluate your date and tell us how it went and you'll say you know whether or not you're interested in continuing that conversation and you'll also be able to take any notes if you want to kind of remember what it was that you talked about later um, and separate from that, like I said, love isn't blind. So we have what's called glances. And that's uh, essentially a series of three to five photos where we show you photos with no names. So you don't know if you've spoken to the person or not, along with those those lifestyle things like the smoker, drinker, and so on. And you will uh, let us know again if you are interested in talking to that person. And if you align on both that photo and the date, then you will have a match and be able to chat in the app until you're ready to take it offline. Wow, that's that's really cool. So so the app operates. So you, the initial meeting is is voice only. Is it's like a call? Is it? Is that how? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So you you see one picture of the person, and then you 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 can either decide to have a have a talk with them or sw or pass. No. That... So you don't you don't see the photo. You don't oh, get to choose. Oh, you don't even see to... the photo. So <laughs> no, I could be talking this... to anybody, and you could be talking to anyone. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's the idea. We don't love want is blind, right? Love is blind. Exactly. Wow. We want people to get and you know, from a psychological perspective, it's actually true. You, uh, you know, as you become connected to someone and you feel a deeper connection to them, mm. their attraction to you grows. And so, or your attraction to them grows. And so we don't want people to be ruling someone out based on their haircut or their tattoos or their skin color, or ethnicity, because you might have a ton in common with that person and not even realize it. Mm.